Greetings! This is Timothy, aka the Void Survivor. Very childish name. Um, and I'm playing on the Game Prod server. You may not have heard of this before, but what it is, is it's a congregation of people who used to play on the server hosted by Game Profi and tired of um, constant uh, oppression by the overlord that is um, the master of all gaming. Um, we've moved to this location. So here's a town in Gamefront. Er, actually, I'm not even sure what this server's called, but the town we're calling Gamefront because it does not contain GamePro. And it's a nice little town. It's got a bamboo fence, very 1.14-esque. Um, why don't we start off the episode with a quick tour of what's here. Nether portal, Pether and Nordle. Uh, here's the main storage room. We don't really have our own buildings. Um, we just, all of our stuff is owned uh, collectively. Um, donkey, skeleton horse, not that interesting. Uh, we d uh, dug out this chunk, obviously, and uh, put a slime farm in it. This took a long time. It's actually a main farm, honestly, because we haven't done any anything of a similar scale yet. But it's pretty good. Uh, I'm happy with it. For some reason, this randomly has like mob drops in it. Just kind of, kind of weird. It's a little bit annoying, actually. So yeah, the rates are actually pretty good because I've only been here for I, I I crafted the slime balls into slime blocks about it. Uh, 45 minutes ago, so it's really pumping out slime. <laughs> Probably make a bunch of slime mach slime block flying machines with that. Um, we also have an iron farm. Obviously, it's a bit inconvenient to make iron farms in 1.14, but what we have here. It's kind of loud. Okay. Um, the villagers are in here. They derp around. Um, then the iron golems will spawn outside here most of the time, and then they'll see this zombie and then they'll fall in there. Alright, so I thought we might do a redstone project here. I cleaned up this area a little bit because I wanted to put it here. And what I wanted to do is create a stone smelting machine because we don't have silk touch yet. Because we still haven't even gone to the end yet because we're lazy. But um, we wanted to basic. what well, my idea is we use the new uh, zero tick trick to get a lot of bamboo. Then we funnel that bamboo into a furnace or two and then smelts, that rhymed, and then smelts up uh, all the cobble. We have like several double chests of cobble from mining that mostly. Hmm. So I'm going to be designing this on the fly. I'm not 100% sure what to do. Although I have seen the uh, bamboo trick before, so I think I understand how to do that. I think I'm going to make two bamboo generators. Um, I'm not sure how to well, let's experiment here. So, something like this, and then we have the dirt going back and forth. So then the bamboo, the bamboo I think is here. Yeah, the bamboo will be here. Uh, actually, I'll move to stone brick. <laughs> it's quite abstract. So it looks like it doesn't work when it's a shoot, which is interesting. Ooh, there's a patrol. Let's look at it. Oh, shoot, there's a thingy. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, it's just gonna one shot me because I don't have any armor on. Where is it? Where are they? They're over there. Okay. All right, perfect. Let's see if this works. Oof. Okay. 
Oh, oh, very good. Uh oh, this is not gonna work. Oh shit. Uh oh, uh oh, it's gonna get me. Very good. Hopefully it'll grow back. So, it's kind of working, it's just really bad because a little bit of bamboo escapes like this. And then, it's just, that. then the so next bamboo stacks up on it, and it's pretty frustrating. What the heck? <laughs>Alrighty, so the lag machine, the lag machine's doing pretty well. Um, we, I'm, I'm not sure what Brandon is building. It's kind of ugly, in my view. I'm sure with his crazy shaders or whatever, it looks great, but I don't know. I moved the on and off button here, so I could turn it off. Pistons go off. Pistons go back on. interesting mechanic. I didn't realize that cats scare phantoms away. Makes a lot of noise, but I guess it works. <laughs> 